My chosen manuscript QAG 8, side A, deals with, so I was actually drawn to it because of the little illumination in the corner, which depicts this guy having rocks thrown at him. So it's kind of like, oh, what's going on here? And then after a little bit of research, it turns out that it's St. Stephen being stoned, which I guess makes sense because if you look closely at the manuscripts, you can see little spots of blood right by his head which apparently after a little bit more research my manuscript i believe is from a suffrage section in a book of hours which involves specific prayers to the saints and often includes how the saints were martyred which in saint stephen's case was by a stoning at first glance my manuscript looks really pretty and it is really pretty like there's lots of colors illumination different ink but the more time that I spent with it, I noticed that it's actually quite, like there's quite a few mistakes in it and there's quite a few smudges and a lot of the lines don't end up. It's very uneven. Like one of the illumination line is crooked, which in a way it gives the manuscript more of a personality and a uniqueness because it shows that it does have a history through water damage and through mistakes, whatever monk put it together <laughs> made history some people think that it's boring because it's just essays and exams and presentations but what we're doing i think especially for me personally who likes public history is history that students don't often get to experience i've learned a lot about medieval manuscripts because i have never taken a course about medieval manuscripts before so all the work that goes into creating one back then and also studying one but also on a different kind of level. I've learned a lot about different types of computer programs and applications like communicating through Slack I had never done before, coding through Atom and using GitHub. That was quite an experience. And also as team leader, I'm learning a lot of, kind of like organizational and detailed oriented kind of tasks, which normally in history, at least in my experience, I've done a lot of essays, exams, and the rare presentation. So this is a whole different approach to a history course that has been challenging, but also has been rewarding because I'm learning a bunch of new things.